It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. I know I've been gone for quite a minute, but I'm back. Got a haircut tutorial for y'all. Taper fade. Y'all know how we do it. First, you just want to comb the hair out, get everything down to where you want it, and then get ready to start the temple taper. What we're going to do, we're going to use a one and a half on top. Now, after that, first thing we want to do is start our guideline. We're going to start our guideline. We're going to use the corner of our trimmers in order to create like a half moon shape in order to do this temple taper. I like to do it this way because uh, it keeps the form that I want, right? So we're going to do that. And then I also want to put the curve in because I feel like his edges are light. So I want to put his C cup in right now so I know exactly where to fade it and also I can keep his line of his C cup exactly where I want it. Now after we got that established we want to come back we have no guard but we want to remove that first guideline that we made right. Right here we want to do light strokes we don't want to do heavy strokes we want to be light with it and make sure we don't make hard guidelines to remove right. After that, we want to come back and we want to use our zero guard, right? Or you can use a one guard if you don't have a zero guard. Come and remove the guideline that we just made without the guard, right? And you see it's already almost blended because we're using, we're not heavy with our hand and we're not heavy with our guideline. So this is what happens when you're not heavy. You can remove the guidelines easy. And you see how that fade is just coming out. Sorry about the angle on this. I ain't want the lady in the background to distract you from seeing what I was doing. So anyway, this is what we're doing right here. So now I got everything down to the desired length. I can come back and start fading again without a guard and I can just pick my spots where I want it to be so I'm using the corner of the blade even though it might look like I'm using the whole blade I'm really not I'm using the corner of the blade and I'm just picking spots wherever I think it's darker or wherever I want my blend to be the best that heaviest that more pertinent that then I, that's what I'm doing right here so at this point you start to develop your own fade, how you want it to look, how you want it to sit, what type of blends, it butter is it, just really smooth, what, you know, so right here it's, it's controllable. You see I'm using my thumb to stretch the skin from the top, right? I'm always using two hands really, so if, I'm, if I put the hand on the head, normally it's to stretch the skin. Now, after that, everything is done, we want to come back and just try to make our line up a little bit more visible a little bit more sharp we'll come through and just really detail everything after a while but while i can still see it real good i kind of just want to make everything just stand out to me and pop so i didn't use enhancements on this haircut but i use a natural lineup so especially when you're doing a natural lineup you want to keep as much of the hair as possible also while you uh, on this side you can just go ahead and start to do the tip of the beard you want to fade you want to blend it into the blend that we already have so I do this by using the guards and no guard and using the corner of my blade actually right so the same thing we did the taper with the same thing that we do uh, when we fading the beard the tip of the beard into the taper Now, after we done that side, we want to turn them around and do the exact same thing. So the same steps that we just did, we're going to do it on this side, speed it up a little bit, and then we're going to start working on the line up in the beard.
now once we're done with everything we got the taper where we want it we want to keep that same lineup going that we did on the other side we want to get that c cup working and then we want to work on the vertical bars too right and then after that we want to come back and we want to work on the tip of his beard we want to blend that into the taper but you can see you can get a nice lineup without enhancements if you just use the hair that's there right also you're gonna need the mr outliner detailing mist that we're gonna use just to make it extra crispy right this is just okay but when you use that mr outliner detailing mist whoa that thing ain't gonna go to a whole nother level right but i know how to just line up good right i'm i'm just good with lineups so you know on top of me being good with lineups and when i use the mr outliner detailing mist it just take my lineups to a whole nother level and then right here we're gonna show you i'll show you this is the mr outliner detailing mist so you'll begin to see how crispy this is but while you spread this is the bottle when you spread and you and you leave it on you can leave it on them let it dry you have to let it dry in order to get the crispy look it really only take about a minute or so but we're gonna work on the back of the taper while we let it dry come back hit the line up again boom everything gonna be nice so on the back we're gonna do the same thing we created our first guideline then i came back no guard and i wanted to remove the first guideline that i made key to this like i keep saying you can't make a heavy guideline do do not make heavy guidelines and they will be easy to remove a lot of times when you're looking at phase and beginners and sometimes even uh people who's been in the game for a while they too heavy-handed with with their tools so when you're too heavy-handed with your tools you can't get a seamless flawless buttery fade Now, coming back to the same side that I used the spray on, when I get ready to line it up, you'll see how crispy it is, right? And on the beard, you don't want to push down too much. You just want to pull away from it, right? You want to pull up and away, right? You don't want to push down too much. But you can start to see how crispy this beard is going to be, how crispy his lineup is going to be, right? Sometimes you got to you gotta make it work. You got to take your time to make everything come out right. I'm not rushing this, right? And I don't want to push the height of his beard down. I want to keep it as high as possible, but y'all already see what the crispness do on that thing, right? So now I want to just detail it and make it sharp, super sharp, crisp and clean. After we do that, we want to work on the front of the lineup, and we just want to go across, and you see he's kind of thinning in the corners, like right in the corners, but I'm not going to push it up all the way to the dark spot. I want to keep it low, right? I want to keep as much hair as possible, and I don't want him to feel like, uh, I don't want to push it back, and then it just, you know, it robs him of some years and months of, finally having to let it go right so it's best to make it light than to push it back
Now we turn them around and do the same thing. Now we just want to complete it. We want to do the beard on this side. So you'll get a real good look at the beard on this side. You see how I'm using all of the hair right there. All of it. You see that? It's really clean, crisp. That's what I'm trying to do right there. You see that? That look good, don't it, right? So using the Mr. Outline Detailing Mist and being very careful with your technique will help you get crisp, sharp lines. And that's pretty much that's the end of the cut right here so look uh this is a just a regular taper i kind of kept it at the temple really i was i brought it up a little bit above the temple but i felt like this taper would fit his head a lot better so sometimes when you cut in the hair you want to make sure that the haircut fits the person the beard everything to go along with it so yeah this is the table this is me back i'm back at it about to drop mad videos on them you know what i mean you know what i'm saying but anyway don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend you know how we do it until next time love peace and hair grease i'm out